Mm. Uh, my final topic of this evening is really interesting because uh, the UN uh, Women UK charity has now just chosen a transgender model as their first UK champion. Uh, and they've chosen uh, a, a, a biological man, a, a trans woman now, called Munro Bergdorf. But that's been, who's been branded completely unsuitable by no less than 17 women's rights group who've actually written to the charity. And this is, I mean, it does seem fairly strange for a UN women's charity that is trying to uh, help women's rights, particularly for those who have been subject to abuse, uh, domestic violence, and indeed for girls, to ask a biological man. Does that seem, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's perfectly normal, perfectly reasonable for that. Well, I'm delighted to be joined in the studio to discuss this by a discrimination and employment lawyer, Robin Mora Wright. Robin, very good evening. Thanks for joining us. So uh, this is, um, it's quite an interesting one, isn't it? You've got uh, a, a women's charity, part of the United Nations, uh, which has, has chosen a, to be their U first UK champion, uh, a transgender uh, woman, Munro Bergdorf, um, who's got quite a track record. I guess there are two issues here. One is, is it appropriate and suitable to choose a biological man, now a trans woman, uh, to, to head up uh, a charity uh, essentially defending and protecting and looking after women's rights? I guess that's question number one. What are your... What are your thoughts on that? Well, well, firstly, she's not heading the charity. She's being a champion of it. So it's, the, the UN is very, um, very used to appointing ambassadors, and they're often ambassadors who challenge normal thinking. Which uh, is a good if, thing. Yeah, if we think of um, Malala Yousafzai, who was the Pakistani girl who was shot on a bus, if you remember, who is the champion for women's education for the UN, um, if we were to ask... Um, people in the Pakistani street, for example. I mean, she was very unpopular in cer with certain but, 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 parts but, of the... But, but she's a girl population. who understands uh, girl and, and, and women issues, and I guess that's yeah. the question. Can a biological man be that champion as well as a biological woman? Well, look, I'm, I, I am a trans woman as well. I get patronised. I get treated in the way that women are treated commonly in the street. Uh, so I understand those issues. I'm sure that Munro does. But she is there to advance women's rights and women's issues. And the very fact that she's on your channel being talked about, women's rights yep. and women's issues are, are here tonight. And, and, uh, and at the and same level important. of interest rates. I'm so glad I'm not talking about interest <laughs> rates. Um, um, but, but here we are on GB News talking about women's rights in, in the middle of the evening. She's therefore straight away achieved what she's there to do as a champion. And that's part of... So, and so the, a charity like this, how many champions would they have, for example, in the, U, in the UN's uh, women charity? Any idea? I, I, forgive me, I'm not familiar no. with the numbers, but a, a, a small number, not, not vast numbers. So, so pretty influential position. Yeah, but there's no bar that says they can't have another champion or more than one champion. And, and let's just and so let's look at Munro Bergdorf. Uh, um, essentially, uh, his uh, her CV uh, because actually she's made some pretty outrageous claims mm. in the past. Uh, I mean, Facebook had to remove some posts. Uh, she said uh, she angered feminists by saying that women are getting feminists wrong. Uh, shouldn't focus on male reproduction. Uh, she was actually a um, uh, I think she was a model by L'Oreal Paris who dropped her because of some of her comments about, uh, about white people. Uh, she, um, yeah, I mean, she said some pretty outrageous stuff. She said, all white people as a group are bought up racist. I mean, can someone who's got those sort of views really be a champion for women? Well, Richard, come on. Your, members of your party have made some fairly outrageous statements in public, and, but can do good. So she's certainly a name that we know. She's a face that will um, yeah, promote... Let's, let's just look at some of these quotes that, uh, that Munro's put. We've just got those on the screen now. We can just... Uh, uh, there we are. She says, honestly, I don't have the energy to talk about the racial violence of white people anymore. Yes, all white people. I mean, that's, that's pretty extraordinary. And the suffragettes were white supremacists. I have to tell you... No one in any party that I've been involved with has ever said anything like that. Um, and she was essentially, I think Facebook took this down. So, look, 
we live in a world of free speech. She's entitled to a view. I guess the question is, you're happy that, um, that a trans woman can be the champion for this charity. The second question is actually, given all the choice of great women that they could have, uh, have asked to be the champion, is it appropriate to choose someone with such a controversial track record and background? Well, I wasn't part of the interview panel, um, so I, I can't say. Uh, but she plainly um, is a person who has a public personality. And here we are, the UK UN charity being talked about on yeah. GB News. In and, and in a sense, um, women's rights, that's a good thing, that's an important e thing. And excellent that's... thing. And many black people have a view that they are a disadvantaged group as well. Now, that could have been expressed differently than the, the statements that you've read out. Yep. But it's very plain, therefore, that um, people are going to see her and know that... And what about, what about these uh, the 17 groups, women's mm. groups, who've written, uh, basically said they're very disappointed, uh, the female population in the UK is more than 33 million, but you've ignored every one of us and chosen a male. I mean, that's, that's pretty punchy stuff as well, isn't it? Uh, right. Saying that, that Munro's well-publicised activism is not pro-women. Right. Every time you appoint someone, you're excluding someone else. So when the next person is appointed... Have all those other people been excluded? But she was or dropped. Have we just picked one. Yeah, and she was dropped, interestingly, as an ambassador. You touched on ambassadors, yeah. the importance of them earlier, to a children's charity called Childline because of inappropriate messages that were counted to safeguarding norms. So it's, it's let, let's put it like this it's probably, uh, I think we probably agree, it's a. It's a uh, is it a surprising choice to you? It's a controversial choice. It's a controversial choice, without question. Yeah. Um, well, I think there we are. We've got an agreement on that. Uh, we've got a letter from 17 different women's groups expressing their disappointment. And, uh, Robin, thank you so much for your choice on that. Well,